greatest danger to our future is apathy. this I'll, I'll i'll find a way to pay back uh you don't have to pay me back i i wanted to do this i want you to have that uh, any chance of work trump wants me to open the place up but i got a problem with you or the other guys dying of the virus on my watch and me just saying it's business the whole world's gone sideways and uh, what, what do we do Every crisis has its opportunities. So keep your eyes open, kid. Uh, give my love to that sweet girl of yours and good luck to you. Of course, but the green light is only the start. We still need 1.5 million in the group attorney trust account to kick things off. So money talks and BS walks. Are you expecting us to put up the entire 1.5 million? I suppose the professor is just collecting a consulting fee. Sorry, euros, 1.5 million uh, euros. Euros, and this is bulletproof? Right, it's just there to be flashed so that the bank issues me an SBLC, the standby letter of credit, so I can go into trade with the bank instrument for the 44M. And will our funds need to sit in escrow for 30 days? 45 Take days max, Diane. with the possibility Black. of it being 30. Single origin pour over. Don't want them putting that blend shit in there. Thank you. Mason, you can flash our money. We'll need 150k in escrow first. Uh, so just to reiterate, the deal that I'm offering you is that your fee would be 20% of the net 44M. So you're leaving a lot of money on the table if all you want is the 150k. We're all good with 150k up front. Thank you. Well, I'm traveling right now. I'm visiting some family in Montana, so I'm going to lose signal. But maybe we can talk this afternoon. Me when you're ready. Will Gene be available then? He sends his apologies but you said it's my call. Great, thanks. Talk to you then. Hey, the door was unlocked. Did you go out? The bookstore is open. Well, did you wear a mask and gloves? Quit being such a control freak. I was just trying to buy a book and get some fresh air and be normal. Well, I need to be able to trust you every time I leave the house. And I need to be able to trust you every time you leave the house. Where did you go? I just got back from the funeral home. Everything's taken care of there, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. I kind of hate you right now. Hate me? You hate me? I'm trying to make life better for both of us here. You do understand that, right? Gross. Stop looking at me like that. You're not much older than I am. You know, I ought to slap the shit out of you every time you talk to me that way. Do it. I'll call Child Protective Services. <laughs> you think you're better off in that system? Be my guest. I'd rather be there than be a prisoner in my own home. Fine. Whatever. Whatever. I'm, I'm gonna make some lunch. What do you want? Wine pizza. We don't have any pizza. It's in the freezer, dummy. Great. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go make the pizza. Hey, did you clean up the bathroom yet? It's still your turn. I'm gonna do it later. Get off my case. Dark blood is too much for me. Dark luck is too much for me. I want to believe it, and I can treat it. Dark luck is. Where are you going? Mason just texted me. He's uh he's here, he's at the motel six. 
I'm gonna go medium, establish some boundaries, but um, sounded like he's excited to see you if you're still okay with that. I don't wanna see him today. How about tomorrow for dinner? Carter, hey man, good to finally meet you. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was at the liquor store, where's Rami? Uh, she's home. Uh, listen, we were thinking of having you over for dinner tomorrow. Sounds great. What time? 5.30ish. Perfect. How's she holding up? Well, she's been in a bit of a rough patch. You know, before Melissa died, she was getting bullied at school. Oh, shit. Why? Well, she made a video for a boy, and that video got around. Ma'am, what did she do? Yeah, we don't. We don't talk about that. We try and move on. Right. That makes sense. Uh, so, you know, she's been home the last three weeks because of video. Yeah, kids can be ruthless. I got bullied when I was in school. I was little for my age, so I know the feeling. Yeah, well, uh, then the virus shut the town down and her mom started having a real problem with that. Uh, she starts feeling hopeless. I was she to still a germaphobe? Well, she was depressed. And, you know, you throw some oxys into that and some drink and it's a cocktail nightmare. I'm sorry, man. Do you want to go inside? Have a drink? That's all right. Thanks. What I'm trying to say is be delicate with Rami. I know you're her father, but just give her some time to get used to having you around. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. Thank you. You're a good man. How old are you? Uh, Melissa was 15 years older than I am. So 21? Yeah. No, you're 20. All right, so Rami's 14 and her stepdad's six years older than her. That's crazy. Uh, but you seem like a really solid dude. I mean, I can tell. So I'm thankful that Rami has you around as a role model. Yeah. All right. See you at 5.30. Thanks, buddy. Hey, I see you. Thanks for the food. How are you feeling? I stopped coughing, but I still can't taste very much. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm glad you're through the rough patch. That was, that was brutal. I miss you. Me too. I miss seeing anyone. Go fetch the bolt cutters. I've been in here too long. Yeah. Oh, hey, um, Bill gave me $400 today to pay off the funeral parlor. Wow, that's really good of him. How are things going at home? <sighs> Surreal, you know? I mean, I still can't even believe she's gone. And then, God, I almost lost you in the same month. Yeah, I Damn. feel guilty. Well, why? I mean, it's not your fault. I don't know. I think she knew about us. Oh, she didn't know. She she was manic. Plus, we made the decision to be together before the outbreak even started, Tammy. Tammy, are you listening? I want to kiss you. Well, maybe that wouldn't be so bad of an idea. What? Are you horny or something? Yeah, what? You're not? Fuck yeah, I am. So you're willing to risk contracting the novel coronavirus for a little piece of ass? A little. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, why not? I mean, uh, the sooner I get it, the sooner it's over with, and the sooner I can be with you. That's true. We'd be immune if we survive. We'd survive. I should probably get back to Rami. Um, so she, you said she left the house to no one in the will? No. We filed for a domestic partnership before she passed, so that makes me Rami's legal guardian. Rami! What? Do you know where your birth certificate and social security card are? Never seen it. Well, do you at least have your social memorized? Negative. Am I an illegal? Yeah, I get that. Who do I call? Anything is possible that...
Good God. Rami. Hey, it's me. Mason, I mean, your dad. Idiot. You're not supposed to be here, and where's your mask? I just left in the car. There's a pandemic going on. No, I know. I just drove across the country from New York City to see you. And where I see is the epicenter for all this. Uh, I'm healthy, I promise. Um, I know Carter said 5.30, but I am a little early because I wanted to see you. He said 5.30 tomorrow, not today, Daddy. Okay, tomorrow. Well, why not today? What are you doing here? I thought I made myself clear. I'm sorry. Okay. I screwed up. Um, I screwed up. And I'm a little early, but I wanted to be here, and now I'm here, so can I come in? You're late. You were supposed to be here a week ago for Mom's funeral. I don't like those flowers. Those are cheap. Come in. Yeah. Shoes. You're wearing shoes. Yeah. It's my damn house. Right. <clears throat> Which uh, you've treated amazingly, by the way. Did you do all these renovations yourself? Most of them, yeah. Nice. The drywall. The floor, it's original. You like uh, sanded it. My just... God. Can you just chill out, please? Just excited to be back. Rami. You're a sight for sore eyes. You know you have your mom's eyes, right? Amazing. I'm so proud of you. Proud of me? Why? Why? What do you mean? How can you be proud of me if you don't know me? That's a fair point. Um, but I, oh, excuse me. Um, I hope to get to know you, though. I'm sorry, I'm just expecting a business call. Uh, time. Nope, we're good. Um, um, what's for dinner? Yeah, we had a late lunch. Hawaiian pizza. Hey! Is that your favorite? That's my favorite too. You can have lost slice. Think I will. It's cold. That's just the way I like it. It's really impressive handiwork, ma'am. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Um, I just hope I have an answer for you. Why did you abandon me when I was a baby? Well, that's a good question. And one that deserves a clear answer. And that's actually the reason that I'm visiting, is to try and address that question. And I want to open up to you. And I want you to open up to me and hopefully we'll be able to address that question over time. So you're not going to answer the question? Well, that's because it's a difficult question to answer. Because I know that I did wrong. And I want to get to know you better so that I know how I can make it up to you. Is there something I can do for you? Ice cream. Ice cream. Uh, now? Let's do it. Don't you have a call? That is not as important as this. Can I go? Yeah. Uh, make sure you wear yeah. your... Yeah. yeah. Great! Gene, Angela, I'm telling you, these funds are for humanitarian reasons. It's not about getting rich quick. There's a real opportunity to create something new in these small towns. Hold on. Take a look at this. These beautiful old buildings that you see around me, almost all of them are vacant and potential startup locations. Now, Gene, the problem with introducing this level of change to a community is coming in as an outsider. But, as you know, I grew up here. So, my idea is that we empower this very community to be the agents of their own transformation. You have these workers, uh, farmers, sons and daughters, learning how to code, right? These skill programs, and they get to see a new way of doing things. And then, genius is revealed. Hold on. Hey, 
Sorry, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Well, I hope so too. Well, I'm excited too. Tomorrow. Okay, we'll talk then. All right, bye-bye. What were you guys talking about? Finding a need and fulfilling it. Sales. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I grew up five minutes up the hill near those copper mines. That's where my rinky-dink house was. And your family are a long line of copper miners, hard workers who built this town. Of course, I didn't have any interest in that as a kid. I dropped out of school just months before graduation. And it really wasn't until I started traveling on my own, seeing the world, that I started to discover who Mason was. Your mom and I were still in high school when she got pregnant with you. Why did you leave mom? Because I was young and scared and running away from my problems. I was your problems? No, don't ever think that. I was young and stupid and I missed out on a lot. Watching you grow up, but now I don't want to miss a thing. You ever think about leaving? All the time. This place is a dump. Well, someday, you just gotta pull the trigger and go find yourself. I hate it here. I have no friends and just wanna get out. You know, if this deal goes through, you're gonna be a rich kid. You keep that between us. Do you wanna talk about your mom? No. Well, I don't know. Some other time. This message is for Mason Fry. My name is Gina calling from King County Public Health. You're receiving a call from us because we believe you may have been exposed to someone who tested positive for COVID-19 or coronavirus. We're calling every person who's been in contact with someone who isn't confirmed. If you could please call us at your earliest convenience, we'd love to know how you're feeling. Hey, I got pastries. Morning, Rami. I got pastries. There's coffee in the kitchen. All right, well, I'll go drink some. Please. I'm not giving you any money, and that's the end of this discussion. But why? It's only $100. Because $100 ain't gonna get you shit. $100 can't get you out of the state. Then give me $200. Give me $500. Mom's money is my money. Mom's money is not your money or my money. It is our money. You can't keep me locked up here. You want reasons? I'll give you reasons why you can't go out there. Reason number one, there is a pandemic out there, Rami. You could get sick and die, and that's the reality. Reason number two is that you are a minor. What's going on? Well, my father said when the time is right to pull the trigger and go travel alone. What are you telling her? I was just telling her about me and Oh, what oh, I so like... you're making it okay for her to make your mistakes. That's not how I meant She's had all sorts of ideas in her head thinking she can go travel the world. She's just a kid, and the mistakes she makes need to be her own. I'm not a kid. You need to shut your mouth. Hey, why don't we just turn it down a couple of degrees? You, you need to leave this house, and you're not allowed to come back until I say so. You can't do that. I don't want to Not another that. word out of you, you're Ronnie. I swear father. to God. Hey, hey, Carter, look at me. Here's an idea. Let's all just calm down. I'm gonna count to three, and why don't we all go to separate Parts of the house and just relax for like 10 minutes. You're gonna tell me to relax, Mom. Hey! I'm telling you to relax. Don't push it. This is no good. Nothing good is gonna come from this. One, two, three. Hey, Rami. Just so you know. You are my daughter, and I'm looking forward to becoming better friends with you. But for now,
Carter's your father? And he is a better man than me, so you can't undermine him trying to take care of you. What you need to do is you need to piss off with that New York bullshit. I was being honest. I meant it. Just so you know, when Melissa was pregnant, I bought this house with the life insurance money from my dad's death in a mining accident. So, technically it's his house. Cop snatched up Stevie last night because he's pipping out those ch two chicks he found in Tic Tac. Okay, man, well, hold on. All she wants is a grand to go to LA, and that's it. She'll do whatever for it. Okay, well, what do you want me to do? Wait, I can't get involved in this. Which bathroom? See her again after you left? No, I left. I went to the motel. Uh, the train station. Well, if you think she's there, let's go. She's inside Salmon. Salmon? I thought they tore that place down. She's locked in the bathroom. She's scared. It's not still an active brothel, is it? It's a squad house for lowlifes. What kind of lowlifes? Drug dealers, sex workers, artists, musicians, 
them like. You think artists and musicians are lowlifes? Most of them are, yeah. Wait, wait, we can't just go in empty-handed. We, uh, do you have any... What, weapons? Yeah. What do you mean, like a gun? No, not a gun. I have some pepper spray. Okay, huh? it's little, but it'll work. What about for me? How about that brick out there, hmm? No. I got it. Give me your tire iron. How did you end up locked in a bathroom in San Martin? I don't want to talk about this. Was anyone in there with you? Did someone take you in there? Well, you're safe now. That's what matters. You gave us quite a scare there, Rami. I'm sorry. Excuse me, are you Mason Fry? Yeah. Um, my name is Claire, and I'm trying to get a, a hold of people who have, may have been exposed to the COVID-19 virus. You're the contact tracer? Yes. A patient in New York with the COVID-19 has named you as somebody they may have exposed to the virus. Who is the person who exposed me? I'm sorry, for privacy reasons, I cannot uh, discuss the name of the patient. Oh, okay, but, but what do we do now? Well, if you do have symptoms, I'm going to need you all to remember everybody you may have come into contact with. <coughs> I'm fine. I feel good. I, I feel good, truly. Are you all staying together? Um, well, you should all isolate together for the next 10 days and not go out into the community. That can dramatically decrease the impact on the pandemic.